All right, so here's the now longtime UFC heavyweight contender, Sergey Spivak. He had a main event against Cyril Ghosn in Paris in September of 2023. And that was the litmus test that a lot of people think he was going to pass. He was unable to get it done that night. He has gone back to the well. He has worked on his striking. Most people are not going to be able to stop this man from taking them down. And a lot of them aren't going to be able to get up either. He has worked very hard on his game at Extreme Couture in Las Vegas. He has a nice kinship with Dewey Cooper. And now we'll see just how elite Sergey Spivak can be. Tonight is one he's got to have. Gerard Tyson with that patented white towel, the black shorts. This is as good as it gets, champ. I mean, what an iconic look, right? I mean, it is what our childhood was made of. Watching Mike Tyson with that stare, with the posse, with the crowd walking to the octagon, ready to go and tear somebody up. Iron Mike Tyson with the white towel, the black shorts, and no socks. Dude, this is what us kids in Louisiana, we looked up to him. He was a hero. It was like he was wearing a cape because he had on the white towel. And I know you've seen some of the training footage. Got a pretty good sprawl. Perhaps that's going to be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are going to try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Iron Mike Tyson has graced the octagon. Tyson is ready to fight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, here now the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing the champion, lying out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. All right, so here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, former boxing heavyweight champion, Iron Mike Tyson. Look for him to move forward. You know the floaters are coming. He'll employ that signature peekaboo style as he tries to get inside. Takedown defense could be tested. I mean, that's what opponents are going to be looking to do. They're going to try to take Mike Tyson down. Easier said than done. Don't blink or you'll miss this fight. Good jab there by Spivak. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Oh, man, that's a big moment early on. Most people expected he would be able to get the takedowns at will. The boxer stays upright, at least for now. Oh, boy. I mean, now you're going to see his facial expression change a little bit. He's going to start to wonder, what am I going to do now if I'm forced to stay with this guy that possesses power like he does in his hands? Massive moment for the boxer. Fast pace here in the early going. 
Punch got blocked there. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right? Oh, doing work with the jabs. Oh, and he lands another counter strike here. He has landed several in this round. And if you are a counter-striking stylist, you can do worse than watching this guy compete. Beautiful job defensively, head movement, foot movement, and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round. Nice shot there by the champ. All right, so another ringing jab right there, snapping his head back like a Pez dispenser. You can tell he was a former boxer. Yeah, absolutely. You can tell that that is his base. The way he throws the jab is fundamentally sound. He does it like he was trained to do it as a young boy. And right now, behind that jab, he finds himself in the game. Two minutes. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Just misses there with the left. Nice. Nicely done. Big E lands right through the bonus midsection. Now some separation. Oh, and there is another knee, and that has certainly been the primary weapon of choice for him here tonight. He has inflicted a ton of damage to his opponent, and a lot of it courtesy of those knees. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Straight right is there. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Another big right now. Tyson gets back up again. Oh, All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and he's starting to show itself. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown, and it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish his takedown at all. Tyson getting worked to the body now by that elbow. He didn't seem to see that one coming. Five minutes in the books. All right, so that round is in the books. Spivak's corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cutman's got his work to do now. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Oh! This fight is close to being done. 
Gotta be careful here. Spivak's in half goal. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Spivak's back in side control. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Tyson gets up. He is back on the feet here. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Counters with the straight right. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown over the I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even. Oh, oh, he might be out. That one appeared to stop. Now he's back up. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Pivot's eye now closing up. All right, so an opportunity goes by the Bulls. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has won. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Tyson. Well, the fighter's gonna have to address this offense coming his way. He's getting really bloody around that eye. Yeah, now it's just become a big target because his opponent is just seeing the blood and he's just going after it. He has got to move his head before the strike starts coming in his direction. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Nice punch by Spivak. Back to his feet. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands. Another heavy shot gets through. Tyson gets up. Clearly, he wanted this fight back to its feet. Oh! That'll do it! Holy smokes! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Well, who would have thought that the former boxing champion Iron Mike Tyson would become